So we want to talk to you a little bit today about your spine surgery. There's a few things I want to touch on in this segment. First of all, the three types of spine surgeries that are common at our hospital. Second of all, we're going to talk about a little bit of physical therapy that you'll be doing in the hospital after your spine surgery. And lastly, we're going to talk about some spine precautions. So let's talk about the spinal procedures that are offered here at Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital. First of all, we have what we call a, an ACDF, or an anterior cervical disc fusion. This is a surgery that's on your neck. Second of all, we have a laminectomy. That is in your lumbar spine. And lastly, we have a fusion. And a laminectomy and a fusion can be combined in different types of surgeries. If you want more information about those procedures, please go to the website that you see on your screen, tcspinecenter.com. Next, let's talk about a little bit of physical therapy that you'll be doing after your spine surgery. First of all, the most important thing you can do after a spine surgery is to walk. Gait training is something that you'll do with your physical therapist probably three to four times a day after your surgery. The next thing is some exercises. We're gonna show you exercises to help strengthen your lower extremities and also your core muscles to help you recover from your spine surgery. Another thing that's sometimes difficult for people that have back surgery is bed mobility. We're gonna teach you how to log roll and this is basically a technique that helps you get out of the bed while keeping your spine in a neutral position. Transfers is another thing that's very important after back surgery. Getting in and out of chairs is something that we will work with you on to make sure you're comfortable doing that before you go home. So the last thing we want to talk about in this segment are your spinal precautions. We want you to avoid pushing, pulling, or lifting anything greater than 10 pounds. We want you to avoid bending or twisting at the waist. And we also want you to avoid any sudden movements that may cause discomfort in your back. In this last segment, we've directed you to the website to learn more about your spinal procedure. We've talked about physical therapy and exercise that you'll be receiving after your procedure. And we've also talked about your spinal precautions. Having spine surgery is a major decision on your part, but we want to assure you that here at Baylor Orthopedic and Spine Hospital, through our team approach, we're going to help you achieve the best outcome possible.